Hello everyone and welcome to the channel, I'm Emmanuel and today there is more exciting news from the FS Expo that we're going to look at and this one is the announcement of prepared version 6 and its trailer. So before we start with the video, let's quickly go over what we're going to do today. So we are not only going to look at the trailer itself, but we are also going to look into what P3D actually is designed for and what it is not designed for, because there seems to be a lot of confusion in the flight sim community as to if that sim is for you or not. So at the end of the video, I'm going to give a little bit of personal speculation as to what I think about the entire P3D program and what's going on, but that is going to be only speculation. All right then, let's go into the news article that they've posted right on their website, which we can find over here. And um, this is the P prepared V6 taking off in July announcement posted on June 24th. In every training scenario, we've got your six. What is prepared? Prepared is a visual simulation platform that allows users to create training scenarios across aviation, maritime and ground domains. It has been used for a wide range of learning scenarios, including vehicle procedures training, cockpit familiarization, flight planning, air traffic controller training and emergency response preparation in the commercial, academic, professional and military instruction environments. At Lockheed Martin, Prepared supports everything from visualizing missile trajectories to simulating wildfire response efforts. Highlights of version 6 are going to be lighting and shadows in Prepared are more realistic than any previous version around the globe, an entirely new atmospheric model that brings unprecedented levels of realism and fidelity, a streamlined update process expected to result in significant time and bandwidth savings, an increased focus on airports including higher detailed lighting models, surfaces and objects in response to user feedback. And here's what Jonathan Wells, Vice President of Lockheed Martin and Commercial Solutions says. The transformation of our prepared software highlights continued development and evolution. Prepared furthers Lockheed Martin's commitment to bring upgraded capabilities and features for next generation training solutions. But let's go into the thing that most of you are going to find most important then, that is let's have a look into the actual trailer. So, are you guys ready? Then let's go! All new custom atmospheric engine and if we look at this it actually looks like those clouds are enhanced a little bit however for those who used prepared v5 you will recognize that there seems to be some enhancement but you know i still don't see any cirrus clouds for example something that we lost with prepared v5 already Enhanced lighting engine, just build your opinion from exactly what you see. Highly detailed airports, well, for a training environment, yeah, absolutely. For, well, computer simulation, probably not. Crawling cities, yeah, well, I guess a couple of us just got treated a little bit too much with uh, MSFS in that region, yeah. but um, I'm going to get back to why they're doing it the way they're doing it a little bit later on. All new reactive environments. Do we see working windsock there? Let's go back a tiny bit for a second. So we've got a working windsock in the back there, we've got the snow spray, and on the left side, to be honest, I'm not entirely sure what I'm supposed to see. Maybe some turbulence? But here's where things really come out with the uh, weapon system simulation in prepare. Something where it really puts itself apart from the Microsoft Simulator. The same goes for advanced scenario creation. Multi-domain training, we see carrier ops, we see F-35 over there. Wildlife fires and the um, C-130 Hercules. Now that's something that we've seen in the new Microsoft announcement trailer as well already. Multiplayer modes. That one is in P3D since a little bit of a while, but...
So that is basically the new trailer. So let's start from the flight simulator's perspective, from the perspective of what most of you guys will have on my channel. And obviously we can see that Lockheed Martin is still Lockheed Martin. They're a weapons manufacturer and not a video game company like, well, Microsoft is. So what exactly is so great about prepared then? And why is that the case even though our Microsoft Flight Simulator seems to be ahead of the game in most aspects? Well, for that we need to go back into the prepared website to understand what prepared is actually for. And they describe it right over here. It is used in vehicle procedure training, cockpit familiarization, flight planning, air traffic controller training, emergency response preparation in the commercial, academic, professional and military instruction environments. Now that is something that people often tend to forget. And while we look at things such as, for example, the highly detailed airports, and we think like, well, that looks like FSX default in 2006 with a couple of enhancements, then we always need to keep something in mind over here. If you ever go to a full flight simulator, then you will find that this level of detail is actually highly detailed, especially if you have that all around the world. So many full flight simulators only have high detail sceneries for a few airports. Like for example, in my old company, we had sceneries for Dublin and Stansted, but the rest of it were automatically generated and those actually mainly consisted of a runway and an adjacent taxiway or something the likes. But this actually for commercial simulation environment is a highly detailed airport. Obviously not if you compare it to Microsoft Flight Simulator and the level of detail they go about. However, you have to make the difference over here. If this is used in training and commercial environments, then this is high detail. Now, going on from there, let's have a further look into a couple of those things that many of you desire, like good graphics and ground textures and stuff like that. So we cannot actually see too much in the sim, but there are a couple shots where we can get some information about what some of that stuff looks like. The first one we can see right over here, blurred behind the P3D V6 logo, but then again very well visible in that we can see we've got, well, this looks mostly like the same auto-generated scenery that we had in previous P3D versions. I saw a couple comments under some of the reposts of the trailer, for example on FS Elite, of people saying like this is like the difference between X-Plane 11 and 12 in that you only get to see shitty scenery by the time you buy a simulator. Now that's obviously something where Microsoft have focused on a lot in that they showed off quite some handcrafted scenery in their trailer but in the prepared environment the quality of the scenery doesn't really matter too much as long as it looks believable. Now let's go into a couple of those shots where we actually get to see some of the scenery. We got this one over here, where the light basically blacks out anything you can see. But what you can look at is, for example, the quality of the buildings, which still seem to be automatically generated over here. Now let's go on a little bit further. Looking at the um, cities over here, well, look at the ground textures over there. Let's go a little bit further back and look at those textures. They still seem to be auto-generated. But for the environment in which prepared is supposed to be, that is actually everything that's needed. On here we can see some more scenery as well, and once again, it doesn't seem to be photorealistic or anything like we see in a Microsoft Flight Simulator. We can get an even better impression over here, where we got the close-up shot of the F-16, I believe. But then again, the scenery is not the focus of the simulator. Now, Something that totally sets it apart is the weapon systems, the scenario creation and the um, multiplayer functionality, including all that. So what can you use P3D then and should you use it at all? Well, if you're a computer gamer, which ultimately most flight simulation enthusiasts are, if you're a computer gamer and you want to just immerse yourself in a simulation, then you might want to look at different sources. However, what P3D is very good for 
is certainly those training environments which they say the simulator is designed for. And having done a lot of aviation training myself throughout my pilot's career, I can absolutely see where those highlights in prepared V6 are. Now, let's go ahead and speculate a little bit. Many of you will say like, yeah, but you do, they do sell those academic licenses, which are basically for entertainment use. And obviously, while it doesn't say that in the text, it is quite clear that in the past they actually worked like that. So they didn't care if you didn't use it for instructional purposes, but if you used it for entertainment purposes, like probably 99.9% .9 of prepared users did. So things seem to be changing a little bit. They seem to be moving into the direction to focus more on the training aspect and focus also more on the military aspects, as we have mostly seen in the trailer of Prepared V6. Now, let's speculate a little bit. Why do they still make it available like they do? Well, my best guess over here is that customers using it for entertainment purposes are mostly paying beta testers. Why would a company that is producing billions of euros in revenue, creating weapon systems, all of a sudden go computer gaming. Well, obviously, because they are using the simulator internally for different purposes, which they basically outline on the product page over here. Now, why still sell it to consumers then? Because they usually are looking at a very deep level into the simulator, and therefore they do a very good job as beta testers. And obviously, you don't want just a few beta testers, but you actually want a very wide, wide range of it. And that is probably what Prepared actually is for Lockheed Martin. And the reason why a billion dollar weapons company actually produces a computer game. Now, many people in the comments below all those announcement posts, for example, on FS Elite Go Ahead, and say like, yeah, but this is um, a professional training tool and not the kind of computer game. So for that reason, don't expect anything. And indeed, you should spoil your expectations over there. But going over the different comments, it seems like a lot of people still seem to be, well, not exactly in the right mood in that they do expect different things from the simulator than it is actually designed to do. All right then, so that is basically a little wrap up. What is new and prepared? They basically enhanced the graphics and there's probably going to be more than we actually got to know by now. But the main thing over here, it is an evolution of the previous simulator and it should be seen as such. Now, it is probably not meant as a competitor to Microsoft Flight Simulator. It is probably absolutely not meant as that. And from an aviator's point of view, I can absolutely see why that simulator is interesting in the way it is and why it is an evolution in the way it is. But that is then again something which probably most computer gamers will not be too interested in. A little last comment to close this one off. I use the word computer gamers a lot and I know that some people feel upset when they're being called gamers because they prefer to be called flight simmers or whatever. The honest thing over here is, and we just have to keep that in mind when we're talking about prepared. Prepared is a tool designed for training. However, it can only be used for actual training in conjunction with professional level hardware, with professional simulations in terms of you have several people setting training scenarios up and stuff like that. So the honest opinion of myself, even though I know it will hurt some people, is that what we're doing in Microsoft Flight Simulator is gaming. It's not actual simulation. Prepared is meant for simulation. And the thing over here is simulation often is a lot more boring than what the majority of flight simulator users are looking for. And for that reason, MSFS is usually called a game, prepared is called a simulator, one doesn't make the other better. That's the very important point here. MSFS got its right of existence in the gaming point of view, which the vast majority of people, even though flying airliners according to procedures, etc., are still doing. And MSFS got it, uh, sorry, and prepared got its place in the simulation environment. However, 
You aren't a better simmer because you're using one sim or the other, even though obviously they stand out in different points. Alright then, now that I've said this, I'm really looking forward to the comments trying to take me apart from that and trying to uh, call me an idiot for saying that and calling me somebody who doesn't know what he's talking about. I know those comments are coming, I'm looking forward to them, and with that I'm going to close today's videos off. Thank you very much for watching and I see you all in the comments below.